Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. Today was a great thrifting day. Oh my God, I wish I could have one like this like once a month, that would be amazing. So I went to the estate sale today and I went there and I was kind of bummed because the prices were kind of high for me. So I bought a few things and while I was checking out, I noticed this huge barn in the back and cars were going there. And I told the lady, I was like, what's going on with the barn? And she's like, oh, that's part of the sale. And I'm like, what? I couldn't get out there fast enough. It was like this huge red old barn. It was amazing. So I'll get out there and the prices, everything's priced to sell. It's all the stuff that I love. So I just started making a pile, making a pile, making a pile. Like there was just, oh, it was so good. And then I ended up like getting very friendly with the lady. It was like an estate sale uh, company running it. So I ended up getting friendly with her. She has my phone number. She's There's some other stuff I might be interested in. So today was the first day of sale. So that's how it goes. You know, stuff is like a little bit higher. And then by the end, they're willing to make deals. And especially after the sale's over with and there's still stuff left over, you can really get it, get it at a good price. So it's always good to make con connections. I do let people know what I do because it doesn't hurt me, it always helps me. So she wanted to see what I did and she ended up giving me an amazing deal. So inside uh, the sale, I spent $10. And then in the barn, I spent 45. So I don't know how much, I didn't count up how much stuff I bought, but I know she gave me an amazing deal. I didn't even add up everything ahead of time. We were just talking and she was like loading everything in my car. She's like $45, I'm like, yes. So. And then actually one of the ladies that I made friends with that runs estate sales as well, she was there shopping and I ran into her and she told me that she has some stuff she thinks I might be interested in so she'll be sending me pictures. So like I said, always good to make connections because once people know what you do, they, they will let you know. I mean, they're not trying to get high dollar for this price, they're trying to move it. So I don't keep it a secret that I'm reselling this stuff. I let them know and they think it's cool and they wanna help me out. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got today. We're gonna start off with these cement statues right here because I was pumped up on these. Oh, look at this cement squirrel. I really love cement items and it's aged very nicely so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna clean it up a little bit and i have some great outdoor sealer and i'm gonna put that on it that way it's gonna keep its age and then you can put it inside or outside but it's not gonna chip anymore i like some in inside outside it don't matter but like this great age on it is perfect and then i have this angel She's really cute. I might paint her a little more white. I don't know. I'ma see. But I love this age look. Like it was already painted white at one time and it's just kind of come off so cute. And let me get the leaves off of it. Everything needs a good cleaning. Y'all look at this chair, how cute. Can you see the chicken wire on it? So all this stuff is so perfect for Minute Next Show because it's springtime. People are gonna be looking for stuff for their plants and their gardens. <gasps> so I'm gonna make a box to put in here and put some greenery in it. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna paint it or not. What y'all think? Is the aging on it good or is it too aged? Should I just paint the whole thing white and distress it? Just like, maybe it might be a little bit too aged for me. And then I'll cut the um uh, I'll cut the bottoms of the feet off where it's rotten, but it's really like sturdy and nice. If it would have been falling apart, I wouldn't have bought it. But it's really sturdy and nice. I just need to cut the bottoms of the feet off where it had been sitting in some water. But now that I'm looking at it on camera, I think I'm definitely gonna paint it white. I feel like a fresh coat of white paint, distressed, is still gonna look amazing, and that greenery is really gonna pop on that white. Okay. I bought an entire stack of these things. <gasps> Y'all, they're perfect. They're rusty, they're chippy, they're great. And again, I'm gonna 
coat them probably with three coats of the outdoor sealer so they stay exactly like this and they'll be perfect indoors outdoors i have seven of them so i think some of them i may make a wooden top for them and then it would be like a little bench a plant stand whatever you want really cute and then look at these Okay, it's stuck on a uh, something. Y'all look how cute this would be hanging on a wall. Once again, I'm gonna put a bunch of coats of my sealer on it to keep all this in. That way it's still perfect for indoors, outdoors. Oh, I wish I had more room in the baby's room. How cute, cause look, I have two sizes. So I have this bigger one and the smaller one so how cute would this be hanging with like little stuffed animals and books in a little girl's room oh it's just a perfect vintage look and that age on it so yeah they had ten dollars just on this piece so i have two of these big ones and one of the smaller one perfect i got i got a ton of these terracotta pots once again, they're nice and aged and I have all kinds of different sizes. So I'm thinking about like making a tray for them and then like pairing them in threes. So like you would get a whole set of them. So you get like a wooden tray with like three terracotta pots instead of like sell selling them all separately. But these are really cute and perfect for our springtime. Okay, let's see what's next. How about these doors, y'all? She had six Cypress doors and I bought all of them. The aging on these things, hold on, stuck on this basket. The aging on these are amazing. Look at the color, <gasps> y'all. This is so perfect. It's a great size. You can hang it this way. You can hang it that way. You put a little wreath. Oh, it's so perfect. How cute would this be with like some lavender or something or some pink like um, flowers? That would be cute. So I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and then I'm going to seal it. So that way it doesn't chip anymore. It stays exactly like this. So perfect. And then I have, I have two that have glass still on it. And then the rest of them do not. Let me show y'all. The rest of them are kind of like white and chippy. I like the size of these. And then they had this one that actually has a planter on it, which I can leave it on or take it off. But you can tell that they're old because the ones that have glass on it are like super heavy. So this one has a planter on it and it has a little porcelain knob. So if the glass is broken, I will be taking the glass off of it. I just take all the glass off or if it has all the panels, then I'll leave the glass on. But the ones with the glass still on it are super heavy. And that's how you know it's really old, besides the great chippy paint effect we have going on here. So, oh, that one will be much lighter once I take the glass off of it. And I'm gonna keep the planter on there and just, um, ooh, that would be a good thing to put the pots in too. Yeah, I'm not taking the planter off. I'm gonna leave it on because somebody will love it. Just like that, they could put it like, um, outside like on their back patio with some greenery in it be so cute i got this piece here so i'm gonna cut the feet off of this one and just turn it into a sign this is a great frame it'll be so cute painted and distressed and then i'll put some wood right here and then write something oh it'd be a good chalkboard or something too like a menu i don't know I just love the, uh, the look of this and it takes a lot of time to recreate this. So when I can find it and just be able to put some new wood in it in the middle, that's what I want to do. And 
then this is Cypress right here. It's like this old little church that somebody made. It's actually on a stick, but I'm going to take the stick off. So it's just going to be a piece of shelf decor. It looks like there was a rain gauge right here. So I'll also just take that off. And maybe I can find like a cute little bird to put on there. But it has like the little tin top that's nice and aged. It looks like maybe um, copper or something. And then the little cross, so cute. And then I always pick these up if I get them for a good price. They sell well for me. I chalk paint them white, distress them. I'll put some little flowers in here and people just love it. And it has like this great detail right here. Really cute. Let's pick that up. And I always pick up wooden bowls when I find them because I chalk paint them white and distress them. And then I write fruit bowl. And these always sell good. And these things are hard to find. So I'm very happy when I come across them and I'm able to pick one up. So this will get painted and then I'll write fruit bowl on it. And then last week, if you follow me on Facebook, I made a shelf out of one of these and it was received very well. I actually have an order for one, so I gotta make another one. And then I found this today. I like it because the knobs are really chunky. So I'm probably gonna turn this one into a shelf as well. And I'll make it look more aged and stuff. So cute. I always pick these up when I find them. I love them. And then I got this stuff inside at the state sale. I couldn't pass up this little pig. It was just so cute. Look at it. And it's made out of like tip ticking fabric with like little pigs on it. I just thought it was adorable. And then I bought these elves. Let me find one. So there's three of them. And what they are is ooh, the legs move. But once I get it right, once I make the ladder for it, I'll glue them on. Um so they they're supposed to be a ladder with it. The ladder was missing. So the elves were only a dollar. There's three of them. They're a nice size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ladder for them. I'm going to paint them, you know, make them look farmhouse, probably white, and then maybe do a red ladder. That would be cute. And then have them going up. And so once I do all that, I could probably sell it for around $30 over Christmas. So I actually have one like this, a miniature one that I put on my tree and I love it. So I was excited when I found these because I'm going to make a ladder for them and they're going to find a new home and be so cute. Okay, I'm almost done. I found this magazine or file paper holder, whatever you want it to be. Now this is coming off. So it has this tin. I already checked to make sure I can take this piece off. But look at the size with the stamp tin and the floral and then the handle. I just thought it was so pretty. It was only $3 and I'm going to pull this off, paint the whole thing white, distress it, and it's going to look amazing. And then I got these baskets. I've been collecting a lot of baskets and this will look great with the other baskets I have to do a little hanging wall display. But they were really pretty. And I think that's everything. So, oh, I have a lot of stuff to deal with. I probably do not need to go thrifting next Friday. Unless there's another estate sale, then I gotta go. So there is some more like wood and stuff at the sale that I'm interested in. So I might um, get with her on Sunday and see if that stuff sold. If it didn't and she gives it to me for a really amazing price, I might go back and get it. But we'll have to see. But today was fun. I love when this kind of stuff happens. And you just never know. Like, I did not know what I was walking into. And it just been, ended up being great. And it is so hard to find this stuff around here. Especially for the prices I got them at. So, that was exciting. And I am not keeping any of this. Everything is for sale. So if you're local and you are interested in anything, just let me know. I haven't thought about prices yet, but just get with me and we'll figure it out. 
all right guys thanks for watching i hope y'all enjoyed this video and i'm going to put some footage that i filmed while i was at the sale There's a room in this barn. Look at this old barn door. How cool.